welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus as it is the 31st of May 2023. I'm Nikki Oshini and these are the headlines. Binance to delist privacy tokens in certain countries. Blockchain firm raises $25 million to develop third generation architecture. Chinese officials issue warning about AI and national security. CNHC stablecoin issuer detained by Chinese police. Upcoming events and more to come. On the market rates today, Bitcoin is at $27,100, Ethereum is at $1,800, BNB is at $307, Solana is at $20, and the dollar scenario rates at $750. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. First up, cryptocurrency is going to become less private in Europe as the major cryptocurrency exchange Binance is preparing to delist all privacy tokens in countries like France and Italy. Starting from the 26th of June, privacy tokens like Monero will no longer be available for trading for Binance customers in France, Italy, Poland and Spain. While we aim to support as many quality projects as possible, we are required to follow local laws and regulations regarding the trading of privacy coins to ensure we can continue to serve as many users as we can, a representative of Binance said. Next up, Swiss non-profit Anormal Foundation has secured a significant funding boost to continue development and research of its third-generation blockchain architecture. A third funding round secured $25 million for the organization, which is building what it describes as a generalized, intense, critic blockchain architecture. The technology is tutored to enable the development of completely decentralized applications, dApps, and services ranging from decentralized exchanges, DEXs, to blockchain roll-up protocols. More interesting news as officials in China have warned about the risks posed by the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, AI development, and subsequently called for tighter measures on national security. The remarks come from a meeting on the 30th of May, Tuesday, in which Chinese President Xi Jinping and prominent members of the Communist Party stressed the country's ambitions to take the lead in the global race to develop the cutting-edge technology. A local news outlet agency reported that local leaders discussed the need for dedicated efforts to safeguard political security and improve the security governance of internet data and artificial intelligence. To close off the news today, the Chinese government continues to crack down on the cryptocurrency industry with a new investigation targeting a major Chinese yuan stablecoin issuer. Employees of Trust Reserve, the issuer of the Chinese Yangpeg stablecoin CNH coin, CNHC, have been detained by Chinese police as reported as a local blockchain publication. According to the report, Trust Reserve employees have been out of reach since the afternoon of May 29th due to multiple arrests. Some employees' family members have reportedly been noted about the detentions. Finally, on blockchain events to come, Crypto Expo Asia. Live in Asia from the 7th to the 8th of June 2023, Crypto Expo Asia will provide the market's leading content and updates on crypto that will help you explore the investment opportunities available as smartly and securely. Many are yet to learn about how crypto could change the world towards a new crypto era as the crypto trend continues to stay. Get insights on key facts that shape the crypto industry as the market continues to scale up. Network with experts and investors, be updated on the latest trends in crypto, and meet the top leaders of the crypto market at this event. And that's it for the weekly news updates here on Crypto TV Plus. For more market updates and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, do visit our website CryptoTVPlus.com and also follow us on our social media platforms Facebook and Twitter at CryptoTVPlus and on Instagram at OfficialCryptoTVPlus to get daily fun our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our news, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I am Nikki Oshini and I'll see you next time.